Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Polly and uh, yeah, fragrance channel. So we're doing a review. So we're doing today about Saint Dufault. I have three of the, these fragrances um, from this line. So let's uh, just get right into it. As you see, I don't post as often as I did in the beginning. I don't have time, so let's just do this. So we're gonna start with Noble Wood. So Noble Wood, just starting with the notes, we have Amber, Benzoin, Olibdanum, <laughs> Woody Notes, which is, I don't know, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Pink Pepper, and Bergamot. So regarding this one, so just, kind of a general, by the way, for this entire line of Saint Dubot. They are, um, how to say, the unisex depends on your taste. If you are a woman that likes unisex kind of, I don't know, it's not like they're leaning masculine, but the notes or the type of fragrances kind of will, if you want to put scents in a box, I guess they would have a more masculine box, but it's it's a smell for crying out loud you know it's a smell performance is really good really really good truly i wouldn't say it's i mean it's a beast depends how much you spray again but these are not the type that you should be very careful how much you spray also kind of depends obviously where you live your body yada 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 skin versus clothes but generally they're very good performance no issues here all these will be they're kind of more fall winter but i noticed for me during the summer i lean more for winter fragrances this type and now that it's actually more cold seasons i don't want to wear them for some reason i'm leaning more for clean fresh florals even something that is more summer spring i don't know that's just how it is for me right now but either way noble wood so this is a str it's not a strange one so it's woody it's warm it's sweet there's sweetness to it it's balsamic and there's this undertone of wood kind of lacquer so if you go into a wood shop and they just finished uh, a piece and they polished it and they put the lacquer on, you smell that um, that scent, that little chemical um, element to it. Now, it's not bad. It gives it a unique character. If you're really not into that, I, you know, it is what it is. I will say it does go away and you are left with a very warm, just beautiful, sweet, gorgeous, woody scent. Super cozy, very cuddly. And that is, in my opinion, 100% unisex. It can be stunning on anyone. I do think that they will just do better for outdoors. You know, it's that kind of sense. They're, they're on them. They're heavy, not in their performance that they're suffocating. It's just the type of scent. They're more body, more, just more going on. But this one is beautiful. I personally don't mind weird kind of chemical or lacquer notes. Um, if I go to Lowe's or I don't know, some kind of, you know, the, one of those stores, I love the paint area and the wood area. I love those smells or a freshly painted room. I just love that scent. So I'm not bothered. Plus it goes away, like I said. But this one is beautiful. I really like it. And it's very interesting how it is woody and balsamic and sweet in a fluffy, cuddly way. So I really do like that one a lot. All right, so let's move on. What do we have next? Let's move to Royal Amber. Okay, we got Royal Amber right here. They're just good. And if you're upset about the sticky notes, well, too bad. So, Royal Amber, we have Amber, we have Leather, we have Oud, we have Saffron, um, Cedar, I wrote it with an S, okay, Cedar, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Germanium, and Red Berries. So, okay, this one is really good. 
guys, this one is, I just, I love this collection. It's such, um, they're statement fragrances. Like I said, they're, they're, they're cool. They're good. There's so much going on. Um, they're, oh, I love the oud here. The oud is great. It's not overpowering. It's not taking over, dominating the entire fragrance, making this oud dominating fragrance at all, which I love. I love oud as um as a player, not as the main character. That's it kind of for me. And it is again that ambery, the balsamic, you get the leather, it's standing, it's not suede, it is leather, but it's worked in leather, so it's not fresh, brand new, there's nothing chemical or artificial or industrial happening here, it's just like good worked in old leather. It's great. The berries, I don't know, I guess, because there is something slightly on the sweeter side, something maybe that's the fruity element. So it's not a, gr it's, it's strong. Yeah, it's a, it's a scent with a present, but it's not screechy. There's nothing unpleasant, anything, um, no sharp edges. It's great. Super sexy, edgy, like for a woman, this is like a badass kind of scent. You know, you wear your high heels, your leather jacket, you go out there. This is a slayer. I love it. So this one is really good. Same thing, 100% unisex. Anyone can wear it. Again, this type of unisex just depends on your personality and the type of fragrances you love. If you're a woman and you love only florals and really sweet kind of fluffy gourmands, yeah, this is not for you. But if this is kind of your tone, check them out. On a man, I mean, there's like, there's no discussion. This would be so beautiful, so sexy with a sweater. Oh my God. Gorgeous. Very elegant. Ugh. But they're also not like Montana Mancera. They're so heavy and so densely packed with these notes. Like the notes, they are very dense, right? When you smell, it's like, it's a lot. It's bloody hell. It's a lot. <laughs> So it can be almost like overpowering or just like at some point you're like, cut, cut, cut. And you can't because it just keeps going for so many hours. These ones, they start big and bold and they kind of calm down, right? So they last for many hours, but in a very approachable way, very cozy way, very pleasant. You get your whiffs. It's just, it's nice. You know, it's nice balance between a very kind of like a beautiful strong composition of notes but that presents itself in a very tolerable manner right again depends how much you spray right all right and the last one so as i said by the way so for, in terms of royal amber if you're into leather and oud beautiful okay next one and the last one uh this was the first one that i got and i was like Stop. What else do you have? This is so good. So this is perfect tobacco. <sighs> yeah. It is perfect tobacco. Guys, this, when I did my review for Montal, um, was it Oud Tobacco? Red Tobacco? You know what I'm talking about. And I said that I love it and it's great, but for me, something is missing. Something is missing. It was like a seven out of 10, um, which has its own place, but whatever was missing there is in here. Mm. Yes. This is wonderful. Okay, blah, blah, denotes. In the top, we have cinnamon, yes, and ginger. Now I wanna say, the cinnamon, unlike, it obviously depends on the fragrance, but there's fragrances when you have cinnamon and you really smell cinnamon, like you took it from, you know, your spices drawer, you're smelling cinnamon. It's kind of too much. I don't like it personally. I don't want to smell like cinnamon, but you can use it as a node that just amplifies or warms up something, right? Kind of gives it a certain um, beauty. That's how it, the cinnamon acts here. 
with the ginger. Lovely. Love, love, love. Then in the heart, you have tobacco. Stunning tobacco. Really warm. Um, not stinky. Not like a old grandpa with a, with a cigar. Just really beautiful, soft, sweet tobacco. Like you open the fresh bag of tobacco, like loose tobacco, and you smell it and it's that good. That's what it is. You have rose. I wouldn't like, it's, this is not a rose fragrance, okay? It just makes things better. And then in the base, you have vanilla and oud. So the oud here, again, kind of plays a base for something woody with the oud element. But it's definitely, again, it's not the dominant part. It's not, if you're not a big fan of oud fragrances, same as Royal Amber, the Royal Amber and this are not oud dominant. So I think like if you are interested in oud, these two would be really good to check out, especially Royal Amber. I feel like you get a little bit more on the oud side, but you want to tippy toe around it or you like the note, you just don't, you're kind of like me. I don't want it to be that dominant, but hell, like, can I just have a little bit of it? Not like a whole uh, bucket of it. So those two are great. You do get a little bit of that oud, the vanilla gives you again all of these they have that something sweet and something round they're very and that comes from the vanilla maybe with the rose and the tobacco this one is stunning like this one is beautiful you really get the tobacco you get the kind of that woody woody base but it's nice and light you know it's wonderful the ginger and the cinnamon in the opening, but they, it's almost like you immediately get almost the entire pyramid. So I can't say it kind of follows the list. It's almost, you do, you get this, everything at once is just the dominance kind of changes throughout. But this one is beautiful. There's nothing aggressive. This is not as light or everyday or how to say, um, kind of, um, cologne as Montal's tobacco, but it's also not as aggressive and so harsh as Montserrat's tobacco, okay? Like, they're, for me, they're a little bit on the, on the extremes of, you know, the, the two sides. This one is perfect tobacco. It's everything you want in this tobacco fragrance. At least I do. <laughs> Like, this is wonderful. It's a beautiful balance. Every day, office, date, men, women. They nailed it with this. So, that's it, guys. So, this is my review for these fragrances. Really depends what you're looking for. If you're into tobacco fragrances, check out the perfect tobacco. If you like woody, you have the noble wood. I'm kind of looking at the name. And Royal Amber is definitely a really good statement as well um, for that leather and oud. And it's so beautiful. Like there's nothing that you should be scared of. Because sometimes, you know, we read the notes, especially if you're going blind buying. You read the notes and these notes are just words on a list. And they can be barely there or they can dominate the heck out of the fragrance that you don't like, or they can be very artificial. They can come in so many ways. These words are great, but how is it? With these ones, trust the process. It's great. It just depends what you're looking for. Um, if I had to recommend my, two, my, I will say two favorite is definitely the Royal Amber and the Perfect Tobacco. And then, I don't know, Noble Wood, I love it too. I mean, I would have skipped that little note in the beginning, even though it doesn't bother me personally, but I would kind of like the best comes after it's gone, you know? Um, but this one is great too. But those two, top notch. All right, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Bye.